Hi everybody, thank you for joining the Dynamite Dies last minute Christmas idea blog hop that we're having today. Um, and I wanted to share with you this Christmas card that I made that is so easy peasy that you'll just be surprised. So what I used for the Dynamite's die is called the Floral Christmas Tree. See, can you see that there? And it's a beautiful beautiful intricate Christmas tree die um, which was just really a lot of fun to work with so really all you're going to need I have two paint colors I have solar gold and I have fern these are silks acrylic glazes um, I have some fancy trims here from Petaloo um, two sheets of paper one is my Mac background paper and this is black and craft damask um, and then I have also a plain piece of craft cardstock along with an old nasty toothbrush and a paintbrush and you'll also need a bit of gel medium as an adhesive so let me show you how I made my cards okay so I have cut out two cards here this is five and a half by eight and a half and then I folded it in half and then I cut um, a piece of paper and um, this is the craft card stock and I cut this at a smidge under three and three quarter inches by four and a half inches and what we're going to do is we're going to center the die in the middle of this cutout and then we're going to cut it out. So I have my big shot here. Now these dies, the Dynamite's dies can be used basically in any um, die cutting machine that's out there on the market nowadays. I just happen to have a big shot and what I'm going to do as I said I'm going to center this die in the middle of this piece of paper that I have here. Place it on my cutting mat Put my cutting mat over top of it and I'm going to run it through. And just for grins, we'll run it back through it again. And there we have it. We have one piece that we're going to use. And then we have our beautiful die of the Christmas tree. Isn't that just gorgeous? We'll just have to knock out all the little extra pieces here. It just wouldn't be me if I didn't pull out my handy dandy distress it all and tear up the edges of my card. So that's what I'm going to do. And there is no other machine in the world that can do this to your cards and make it look as awesome as it does. Okay, so there we have it. And you always have to be careful when you're doing that on the folded edges. Um, more times than not, I actually cut holes through. Okay, so now we have our die cut image. We have our card. We have the piece that's going to go over top of our card. All right, and then what I did next was I just took whatever happened to be handy next to me to write with. And now that I have the cardstock placed over top of the card face, what I need to do is I need to mark out where I'm going to paint. So I'm just gonna gently lift that up and mark underneath so that I know where I'm gonna need to paint the green paint. So now I have that. So as I stated earlier, I'm using Fern Silk Acrylic Glaze. I'm gonna give that a good shake up. And then I have the marked spots on my card. They're gonna show me where I need to paint the green. And I'm just going to paint that over the card face and when I marked it I marked it slightly inside the actual edges um, because I also know me and I can be a little bit of a sloppy painter 
I never was one good coloring inside the lines. Okay, so now we need that to dry. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Solar Gold Silk Acrylic Glaze and I'm going to brush it over top of my die cut floral Christmas tree. Okay, so we have that done. I'm going to hit these both with the heat tool and make sure they're good and dry. I forgot to tell you one thing, which it's probably easier to do this prior to die cutting the image out, is to distress your edges with the distress it all um, while this is in an intact piece of paper and doesn't have the big hole in it. Um, it can be done. I just did it, but just to make it a little easier for you. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have this marked out space. I am just going to apply a layer of multimedium over top of the entire painted area. And the reason that I like multimedia matte is when it dries, you can't see it. Yay. Okay, so now I'm going to place my cutout piece of cardstock over top of that glued area. And then I am going to take my die cut and I'm going to place it inside of there. Then we'll just rub it all down. And heat set that. Feel free to add more adhesive as needed. as a little added extra to my card, I'm going to dip my toothbrush into a bit of paint and then I'm just going to flack it all over the face of the card. Tie a pretty little red bow for the base of the tree. Here, my little red bow to the bottom of the tree base. Stamp my greeting of Merry Christmas on the side of my card. And there you have it. An easy peasy, beautiful Christmas card. I hope you enjoyed my last minute Christmas idea video um, on this very easy peasy card that you can make. And I hope you have a fabulous holiday season.